Good morning. I know the um, shadows do not look like it is morning, but I'm going to say good morning anyway. So, um, this is an update on the dry garden. Now, this dry garden, this is the first time that I've done a dry garden here. And um, I did not expect a lot of production. I, none, actually. I thought that most everything would die. Um, so what we have, um, the mugwort survived, no problems. Valerian died. Um, lavender was, last week was looking really, really sad. Um, the fat leaves were flat. <laughs> so I watered that last week and I started looking around and watering a little bit for everything that was still alive. We've still got some watermelons alive out there. Most of the tomatoes survived. We've still got a couple of peppers, but none of them have produced. The dry beans, uh, this was our harvest for the dry beans this year. Um, none of the green beans have produced. A few of them are still alive. Um, I'm going to start watering because what I've got now is I've got a set of survivors. Uh, these plants survived no water in clay soil for uh, three months, most of them at least three months. So um, I'm going to start watering them a little bit because right now they're used to the dry and if I water them too much they will drown. But I'm going to start watering them a little bit every week and see what we can, what production we can get off of them before the first frost. I do not expect that there will be a lot because these plants have been tortured, they have been stunted, they have been stunted by the cold, they have been stunted by the heat, they have been stunted by a lack of water. Everything that I could do to these plants has been done. So um, they hope they have survived, um, hopefully past the um, worst of the summer weather. So I will start watering them now and hope to get something off of them, some seeds off of them um, by the end of fall. So as I said, this is our dry bean harvest. So far, this is the tomato harvest. Um, I planted some romas and other than this one, I just noticed this today and pulled it off. Um, each of the roma plants that survived has produced at least one and this is in dry conditions in clay soil so um, it's good um, next year the plants will do a little bit better um, and i can hope that the flowers or the plants will bloom again and continue to produce through for, through fall uh, there are probably let's see four one two three four five six seven eight nine um nine there's probably 25 plants still alive out there, um, and uh, I can hope that some of them will produce. These are our strongest plants, so these are the ones that we want seeds from for next year. And this little pile, we actually have three basil plants that survived under those same conditions. It's great slate, great bleh, um, clay soil. Um, no water, no special behavior or no special treatment, nothing. Um, and three plants have survived to, um, to seed. Uh, they didn't get a lot of leaves on them, but I didn't expect that they would. Um, the other outstanding uh, success is the borage. Um, it bloomed. It grew like crazy in the spring. It bloomed. Um, it is still alive and it is currently seeding. So that is another success out there in the dry garden area. So these basil were a surprise. I did not expect that any of the basil would survive, but we've got three plants out there that have seeds on them. So um, I'm going to take a few seeds off of each one. This was off of one plant. I'm gonna take a few seeds off of each one for my seeds, for my seeds, um, seed collection and um, leave the rest to fall and hopefully come up next spring. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, the, the watermelons are struggling. 
but they're doing okay. I mean, they're alive. Uh, so I will be watering them tomorrow. The sweet potatoes, again, are struggling, but they're still alive. Corn is struggling, but it's still alive. Uh, I need to water all of those tomorrow a little bit, and then hopefully a little bit more in about a week. So that is our dry garden update. I will talk with you later.